Hello, I'm Gillian Charlson. My son David has Down syndrome and I'm the Secretary of Strathern Building Bridges. I'm here to talk about what Scottish Learning Disability Week means to us. This year the theme is Human Rights, which includes the right we all have to be as healthy, safe and active as possible. One of the things we're doing in Perth and Kinross is looking at how people with learning disability and their parents and carers can have a good life. We want people to aim high, follow their dreams and really be part of their local community. Our team is trying to make day services in Perth and Kinross the best they can be. I thought I'd start by telling you a bit about Building Bridges. This is a small local charity set up about 12 years ago building on the Tuesday Club, which started over 20 years ago, a social group aimed at giving people with learning disabilities the same opportunities to socialise and have fun as their peers. Before lockdown, we had things going on most days of the week. Strathern Sportability was a group allowing people to have a taster of different things. We also had boccia and swimming groups where members were able to enjoy activities at their own level but also develop their skills and go on to compete regionally, nationally and even internationally. Tuesday Club was where it all started. We now also have our Knockdown Social Club and our Saturday Lunch Club where once a month members get together to plan and prepare a meal and then sit down and enjoy it together. Other local partners who've helped us develop our skills include Remake, Creef and Leaf and the Seroptimists. Building Bridges' purposes include raising awareness and increasing community integration. Being part of the Creef Highland Games as Games Makers has been a feature of our calendar for the last few years and we're really looking forward to joining in again this summer as well as taking part in the Queen's Jubilee celebrations. Building Bridges members know how to have a good time. Before lockdown, we used to go on regular outings, 10 pin bowling in Stirling, for example, and even weekends away. Basically, it's any excuse for a party, whether it's a barbecue, a birthday or Christmas celebration. I'd also like to say a big thank you to all our volunteers who make it possible. So what about lockdown? Well, we're nothing if not adaptable and we were quick to move to Zoom two years ago. This was a huge learning curve for us all, uh, but we carried on with our arts and crafts, quizzes, karaoke, film nights, baking, concerts, scavenger hunts. Any excuse to dress up and have a party, even if it is online. We are aware, though, that not everybody can or wants to join in online. So we've been doing our best to keep communication channels open by other means. We're delighted that we're starting to be able to go back face to face and we're seeing old friends again, as well as meeting new people. So what's next? Well, we want to build back better. Our main purposes are to enhance integration, reduce isolation and increase community awareness. That's why we're supporting the Joining Together for a Good Life project. So I thought I'd tell you a bit about David's story and maybe you'll be inspired to tell us yours. This is how David sees himself. Anyone who knows him knows he's a big Bond fan, a suave, sophisticated man of the world. He was actually born in Brazil. He's up for anything once he's had a chance to suss out the situation. And though he's a man of few words, he's a bit of an adrenaline junkie and a thrill seeker. And this is how we see David. We're very proud parents of a young man who won a gold medal for swimming in the 2017 Special Olympics. He may not say very much, but he has a great sense of humour, he's a loving brother and a loyal friend, and most importantly, he's still learning and growing. David's journey so far includes mainstream school, where he needed a lot of support, then a time at local college. By the time he went to day opportunities, he was still very immature. Um, activities were still very much Perth-based then, and it took him a while to settle in. However, David continues to learn and grow, and he's really thrived over the last few years with the introduction of far more local community-based activities. He's got much more variety day to day and is building on his strengths. 
A highlight was the Green to Go Employability Initiative, which unfortunately has now come to an end. Currently at Day Opportunities, David's activities are focused very much around supporting him to develop the skills he needs for his future. A lot's around his health and fitness, so he has access to the adaptive bikes and a wide range of other activities, including the gym and swimming. Gets to meet his friends too. Day Opportunities staff are really supportive, patient, flexible and creative, and they know and understand David really well encouraging him to communicate and express his wants and needs in a wide variety of ways. They keep in contact with us, his parents, as well. David's also getting the chance to work on his independent living skills, including things like planning and preparing a meal and clearing up after himself. We do have evidence that he's developing a range of practical skills that we really didn't expect However, there's not much sign of them transferring home yet. So what's next for David? We all go through transitions throughout our lives. How can we support David with his next move, hopefully into his own accommodation? We hope to build on what we've established already and challenge him to make the most of his potential. How can we access even more opportunities for David and his friends to have a good life? That's David's story so far. We'd love to hear from you. What's your story? What's worked in the past for you? What hasn't worked? What do you want for the future? What's working or not working now? What would make a good life for you, even if you don't use day opportunities? Joining together for a good life means working together to make things better. Please do get in touch to tell us what matters to you and to contribute to what happens next. Call 01738 472 345 or email goodlife at pkc.gov.uk. We'd love to hear your story. Thank you.